Derek rocks the fucking house. Derek rocks the fucking house. It's my turn to host the show, bitches. And now for Bible Answers with Darren. Hello, and welcome to Bible Answers. Uh, anyway, this is a show where you call in with all your Bible questions and your Bible queries, and I guess I'm going to answer them for you. Because uh, John is is uh, not available this this week. Let's take our very first call. Bible answers. What's your question? Darren, it's John Matthews. I just want to say thank you for hosting the show for me while I'm gone. No problem, John. It's no big deal. Well, all right. Uh, And don't let anybody know I'm in jail. Uh, okay. I swear, Darren, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill Adam. Uh, I wouldn't say that right now. I'm going to murder him. I'm going to, I'm going to end his life. Uh, John, I I think I'm going to let you go. Okay, Darren. Thanks for calling the show. What? Eh, whatever. Bye. Bible Answers, this is Darren. What's your question? Hey, Darren. Me and my buddies watch this show every Sunday just so we can make fun of John. And I gotta say, I'm glad to see you hosting the show today. Cool. Do you have a question? I guess. I've got something better than a question. I have a Bible contradiction for you. Ah, Bible contradiction. You mean those things that, according to John, don't exist. That's right. Check this out, man. Deuteronomy 25, 5 through 6 says... Hold on, caller. Jimmy, you want to put that on the screen for me? That's Deuteronomy 25, 5 through 6. Uh, yeah. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to say that. As I was saying, the passage says, If brothers are living together, and one of them dies without a son, his widow must not marry outside the family. Her husband's brother shall take her and marry her, and fulfill the duty of a brother-in-law to her. The first son she bears shall carry on the name of the dead brother. Okay. That's interesting. It is interesting, Darren. Even more interesting is what the Bible says in Leviticus 18.16. Oh, really? What would that be? This passage says, Do not have sexual relations with your brother's wife. That would dishonor your brother. Oh, that is hilarious. Don't fuck your brother's wife. You must fuck your brother's wife. Man, I love the Bible. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, me too. <clears throat> it's always good for a laugh. That's true. Well, hey, thanks for your call. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I want nothing but contradictions. So dust those Bibles off and call me with your contradictions. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Let's take our very next call. Bible contradictions. What's your contradiction? i got to come up with something better. Darren, the things you are doing to this show are amazing. Well, thank you. I have a contradiction for you today. Actually, I have two contradictions for you today. Okay, caller, sounds good. So what passages do we need to find these contradictions? 1 Samuel 31, 4 through 6, and 2 Samuel 1, 1 through 16. You got that, Jimmy? Yup. Okay, what's your contradiction, caller? Well, in 1 Samuel 31, 4 through 6, we learn that Saul, a major character in the Bible, realizes that he's fucked, takes his own sword, and kills himself. Wow. Sounds like he was pretty fucked. 
He was. So what's the contradiction in the other passage? Was he not so fucked? Even better, he still dies, just in a completely different way. Instead of killing himself, he was killed by an Amalekite. Amalekite? What the hell's an Amalekite? It's like one of the bad guys. Well, that's fucking great. A major character in the Bible dies two completely different ways. Obviously a book written by a perfect creator. Of course. Now this next contradiction can be found in most, but not all, versions of the Bible. You know, the one infallible and unchangeable word of God. Which makes it even more hilarious. The passages are 1 Samuel 17, 23 through 50, and 2 Samuel 21, 19. Now, Darren, I'm sure you've heard of the story of David and Goliath, correct? Oh, yeah. That one I've heard of. Great. Can you tell me who killed Goliath? Um, okay. Well, I'm going to say that David killed him. Very good. According to 1 Samuel 17, 23 through 50, David killed Goliath. However, according to 2 Samuel 21, 19, a man named Elanon killed Goliath. So, according to the Bible, two completely different people killed Goliath. Uh, yep. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for your call. Bible Contradictions, this is Darren. The Bible doesn't have any contradictions. The Bible is perfect. Amen! Okay, you're a freak. Ooh. Next caller. Bible Contradictions, what do you got? Uh, hello Darren. I have a contradiction that was spoken by Jesus himself. Uh, oh, and uh, you don't know me because I'm not me. Okay, so why don't you, who's not you, tell me where I can find this contradiction? Uh, in order to find the contradiction, we have to read three passages from the book of John. John 3.17, 9.39, and 12.47. Boy, that sounds like a fun way to spend your evening. All right, what do you got? Uh, John 3.17, so... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, John 3.17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. <laughs> oh, well, isn't that nice? What's the next one say? Uh, skipping now to John 12, 47. As for the person who hears my words, but does not keep them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save it. Well, that sounds good so far. Jesus isn't here to judge us. What a nice guy! Uh, he would be an even nicer guy uh, if he didn't contradict himself. Because if we go back to John 9, 39, we find that Jesus says, For judgment, I have come into the world. Yep, there it is. What an asshole! The one person you think you can trust in the Bible, Jesus, and he turns out he contradicts himself. I love it! I absolutely love that Jesus contradicts himself. How much more evidence do you need that this book is crap? Thanks for your call. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, don't forget to pray for me, Darren. Okay, I gotta ask. Is this Pastor Green? Oh, uh, goodbye. Well, that's all the time we have for today's show. I'd like to thank all my callers for calling in. Today we learned that you're supposed to fuck your brother's wife. And that you're not supposed to fuck your brother's wife. That Saul and Goliath both died two completely different ways. And 
Pastor Green just called the show. Hopefully John's not back next week, so you can tune in next Sunday, and every Sunday, right here on Bible Contradictions. Right.